Hey there guys, Evil Psycho here, bringing you some Borderlands exclusive gameplay. Hope you're all doing good, and you stay beautiful. But, um, today, it's not gonna be a walkthrough or a let's play. Today's gonna be a discussion. And discussions about how PS4, or Sony, my bad, is releasing PS2 games on the PS4. And I was like, that's cool, that's badass, I was all hyped. And I, it's it's only a first batch of games. It's not like a whole list of games too. That's oh that's cool though. And the games that are being released, or be Dark Cloud, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Parappa the Rapper 2, <laughs> funny name, Rogue Galaxy, The King of Fighters 2000, The Mark of Cree or Cry, and War of Monsters. So those are the games that. The first batch of games I'll be releasing on the PS4. So that's, that's cool. It'll support trophies, um, share play, live streaming, all that wonderful stuff. And I was like, that's cool. And it'll be rendered in 1080p, which I kind of want to see. That San Andreas, especially 1080p. <coughs> Even though I somewhat saw that on the 360, I'm not sure that will send 720p. I might have to look at it again when I get hop on the Xbox. So I was wondering how exactly would this work? At first I was like maybe they're doing it like Microsoft what they're doing with the Xbox One. You um oh like you have your PS two games and you can just put it inside the PS4. Like Xbox One. You have six games, Xbox One you can play them. I was like, oh, that's cool, but it's not really the case. You have to buy these, which kind of bums me out a little bit. But, and the prices, like, for these games are $14.99 on the store when it comes out. So that really bummed me out. I was like, oh, man. And at the same time, I thought, I was expecting something like PlayStation now, you know? Like, they have the PS3 games on... Um, PS4 with a pay subscription. This is like, what, ten dollars a month, I presume. And if they had like something like PlayStation Now with just PS2 games, I'd be like, that's that's cool. I was expecting that. But nah, you just gotta pay for these. I kind of wish it was like more like how um, Xbox One doing it, back with compatibility, bringing your games, and you'll be good. But considering how long PS2 came out, most people don't really have PS2 games anymore. They either sold them for a profit or just the discs are broken or not hard to find. Cause if you look on Amazon or eBay, these these games go for like 50 to what 60, 70 dollars, which is crazy. And I'm just like, wow. Cause when I bought my um for Xbox 360, I bought. Actually, I bought a cheap $12 for Battlefront. The first Battlefront, not the new one. So, I was like, that's probably the cheapest one I could find. But when it came to PS2 games, it's like $70, $60, the price of a new game when it comes out. But thinking about it now, I guess, now that I'm saying like that, it is kind of good that they're doing that for $14.99. Just kind of wish they made it to where you could play for free. Free, I would say, but yet then again, they do need to make a profit out of this. I was expecting something just like PlayStation Now, pay ten bucks or something a month, play all PS games you can want. That that would have been a better idea, in my opinion. Well, that's all I have to say on this whole PS2 to PS4. We'll see how it actually goes. Maybe they'll change it up a bit. Cause I mean, it is. It's a they're just seeing how it goes, I guess. Who knows in the future? I actually might have something with PlayStation now. And if it does, that's cool. But yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Give me your opinions and thoughts on the PlayStation 2 games on PS4. And I shall see you in the next video, you sexy, beautiful people.